This video explains how to construct a rectangle in Geometer Sketchpad using the menu options. To start, press the fourth button down, which is the segment tool, and construct a segment of any length by pressing down on a spot to make the first point, or pressing down on a second spot to make your second point. Next, select both of your points and the segment that you just created, and go to the menu options, construct, perpendicular lines. Notice this time it's plural. You will get two lines from this command instead of just one because we selected two points in relation to this original segment. Next we're going to again go back to our segment tool which is the fourth button down. We're going to make another segment by starting at one of our endpoints of the segment that we just created and one of the perpendicular lines. So I'm on this perpendicular line and I can extend it as big or as small as I want. Highlight the segment that we just created and the new point that we just created and then go to construct perpendicular line again. Again press the segment tool which is the fourth button down and connect this end point with the point of intersection that we just created and then select that point of intersection and go to one of our original points of the segment. Last, we're going to hide all of the extra lines that we used to create our rectangle. So highlight them and then go to display hide perpendicular lines. And we can verify that it's a rectangle by measuring the segment lengths and the angle measures. We'll do the segments first. So I'm going to click on each segment going around my rectangle. And I'm going to go to measure lengths and notice the two opposite sides are congruent. Now let's do each angle individually. In order to do so we're going to select three points at a time with our middle point being the vertex. So if I want to do angle E that's got to be my second point. So we'll do F E H and go to measure angle. If I go to E H G go to measure angle H G F measure angle and then G F E go to measure angle and notice all of our angles are 90 degrees. You can also click on one of our two original points that we used to make our first segment which would be either E or H. If you click on one of those and move it around it'll make the rectangle bigger and smaller but the angle measurements are always 90 degrees so therefore it is a rectangle. I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope that you have a great day.